Hello everyone. Welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand VTP pruning. All about VTP pruning. First, we'll see the theory part. After that, we'll see the configuration. First, we will discuss what is VTP pruning, how it works, and then configuration and verification. If there is any issue in the network related to VTP pruning, how you can identify it and fix it. So without wasting our time, let's uh, start. First of all, what is VTP pruning? Guys, the exact meaning of pruning is to uh, stop unwanted broadcast message or multicast message or you can say traffic. Uh, stop unwanted traffic from going to a place where it is not needed. Right? So with the help of VTP pruning, we are going to avoid, we are going to uh, stop unwanted broadcast, multicast or unknown unicast traffic from the trunk link where it is not needed. Right? The meaning of pruning is uh, stopping unwanted traffic from going to a place where it is not required, where it is not needed. VTP pruning reduces the bandwidth consumption by only sending the broadcast or multicast message from the trunk link where it is needed. For an example, see, here I have one lab network, right, where three switches are there, all three switches are connected with each other, and link between switches are configured as trunk. You know, by default, all the VLANs are allowed on the trunk link, VLAN 1, 2, 4, 0, 9, 6, all VLANs are allowed here on both the trunk link. What will happen when VLAN 10 user will generate any broadcast message? Broadcast message, when TC will generate broadcast message, whenever you will configure IP address, it will generate GRP message, right? Let's suppose here I have configured IP 10.1.1.1. .1 .1. Now this machine is going to generate one gracious ARP, and you know gracious ARP is broadcast message, right? So um, source MAC will be the MAC address of this PC, A and the station MAC will be all F in the Ethernet header, and this PC will forward it to switch, switch one, and trunk link is a part of all the VLAN, so switch one will forward it to switch number two. Switch two will forward it to switch three. Like this, if we, we have lots of switches, so broadcast message of VLAN 10 will be flooded through the network, right? It will flood it to all the switches and all switches will forward to their neighbor. But see guys, is VLAN 10 broadcast message or GRP message or ARP request message required on switch number two or three? not required because there is no any user in VLAN 10 on switch 2. There is no any user on in VLAN 10 on switch number 3. Then why switch is sending broadcast message of VLAN 10 to switch 2 and switch 3? Not required, right? So VLAN 10 broadcast message is unwanted message on this trunk link and this trunk link. These two are unwanted broadcast message on these two trunk links. And here VTP pruning help you to uh, stop this uh, unwanted traffic only. Similarly, let's, let's say if I'm going to configure IP address here 20.1.1.1 or not 20.1, let's suppose I want to ping 8.8.8 .8 from here. Not only IP configuration, ping 8.8.8.8. What will happen in this case? This machine need MAC address of default gateway. For that, it will look up the ARP table and if ARP in the ARP table, if MAC address of default gateway is not required, it will generate ARP request message, ARP request. And you know, in the ARP request message, source will be MAC address of this PC and destination will be broadcast, all F. What will happen? PC will forward that broadcast to switch number two and switch two will uh, start flooding from here and here, right? Is there any user in VLAN 20? No, that means the VLAN 20 broadcast message, ARP message is unwanted traffic for this trunk link. Okay, so to avoid the unnecessary broadcast flooding in the layer two network, we are using VTP pruning. How VTP pruning will avoid this? Let me tell you that, that also, and hope it is clear like why we need it, VTP pruning. VTP pruning means just to uh, stop the unwanted broadcast message from the trunk link. Right? Only send the broadcast message of that VLAN which is needed. Like switch number two has user in VLAN 20. So definitely switch one should forward broadcast message of VLAN 20. 
P1 switch 2 is 3 is connected to switch number 2 and there is user on switch number 3 in VLAN 30. So switch 2, switch 1 should also forward the traffic broadcast traffic of VLAN 30 but not the traffic of VLAN 10. If there is any user in VLAN 10 here on switch number um, 3 then definitely switch 1 should forward it but as there is no any user connected to this port in VLAN 10 switch 1 should not forward the broadcast message of VLAN 10 from their trunk link. Right, so VTP pruning is used to avoid the unnecessary broadcast message on the trunk link. Now, what will happen when you will enable the VTP pruning and by default guys VTP pruning is disabled. That's why your machine the switches don't know about the user connected on switch. Like switch 1 don't know that this trunk link only need broadcast message of VLAN 20 and 30 because from this trunk link it can forward traffic for either VLAN 20 or VLAN, or VLAN 30 because there are users in VLAN 20 and 30 only not in VLAN 10. So how switch 1 will get to know that? That there is no any user in VLAN 10. So as soon as you will enable the VTP pruning what will happen? All the switches are going to see a join message. Join message. Switch 1, switch um, one will send it to switch two, switch two will send it to switch three, and switch two will send it to switch number three, and switch three will send to switch one join message. The fourth message of VTP. And in the join message, it is going to share the VLAN information. That switch one will say to switch two, that brother, switch two, I only need broadcast message for VLAN 10 because there is there, there are some users in VLAN 10 only. There is no any user in VLAN 20, no any user in VLAN 30, no any user in VLAN 40, 50 and any other VLAN, right? So don't send me message, broadcast message for VLAN 20, 30, only send for VLAN 10. And then you can verify it here on switch number 2 trunk link that VLAN 10 and by default VLAN 1. These two VLAN will be not pruned, rest all the VLAN will be pruned. Not pruned means not pruned. Note pruned means means traffic broadcast or multicast or un non unicast flooding traffic is required for these VLAN. It means VLAN is active, right? Traffic is required, needed for VLAN number 10. So on this trunk link, what will happen? Only VLAN 1 and 10 will be note pruned. On this link, on switch number switch number 1, see this this trunk link should only forward traffic for VLAN 20 and 30. So if I will talk about non not pruned VLAN here on switch number 1, VLAN 1, 20 and 30. Now switch 1 will not forward any traffic of VLAN 10 from this trunk link. Why VLAN 20 and 30? Because on switch number 3 VLAN 30 users are there. So switch 1 is going to share this information to switch 2 that don't prune VLAN number 30 for me and so when switch 2 will send the join message to switch number 3 switch number 2 is going to say don't prune traffic for VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 because it is receiving prune message prune VLAN from switch number 3 as well right so it will relay that to switch number 1 and this way this way if I am going to yes now if this way here what will happen on this link VLAN 10 not VLAN 10 should be pruned, VLAN 10 should be pruned, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 should not be pruned. On this trunk link, which VLAN should not be pruned? VLAN 10 should not be pruned, only VLAN 10. And on this trunk link, this trunk link should forward traffic for VLAN 30 only, so VLAN 30 should not be pruned. And on this link, VLAN 10 and 20 should not pruned. Rest all the VLAN should be pruned right rest all the VLAN should be pruned now let me show you practically here I am going to show you the lab here not HTML3 and let me show you the lab of VTP yes
that's html3 only right okay got it now see this is my lab here by default pruning is not enable even vtp is not configured so let me configure this lab what i am going to do on switch number 1 i am going to put pc number 1 in vlan 10 enable config t interface e0/1 switch port access vlan 10 and before configuring the port into vlan let me do one thing let me set up the uh, vtp here so that i don't need to create vlan on all the switches on switch number 2 i am going to configure their ports as trunk link interface range e0/0 to 1 and switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk automatically switch 1 and switch 3 will configure their port as trunk now go to switch number 3 and let me verify it here you can check so interface trunk very good you can see 0 slash 0 is configured as trunk and not pruned vlan you can see not pruned vlan is none there is no any non pruned vlan means no any active vlan is there on the trunk link for now okay now let me configure the vtp domain name here on switch number 1 say vtp domain let's say cisco on switch number 2 also i am going to configure the same domain name exit vtp domain cisco and then go to switch number 3 and say vtp domain cisco now domain name is cisco on all the switches let me take you to switch 1 and let me create some vlan vlan 10 20 30 40 50 let's say i have created vlan 10 20 30 40 and now i am going to put interface e0/1 in which vlan switch port access vlan let's say 10 right and so interface trunk you can see only vlan 1 is not pruned on the trunk link on this link switch 1 trunk link only vlan one vlan is not pruned that is vlan number 1 very good go to switch number 2 and let me configure the port user in vlan 20 0/2 switch port access vlan vlan 20 switch port access vlan 20 and so vlan brief yes it has created the vlan go to switch number 3 and switch 3 should also have the vlan so vlan brief very good and let me put the port in vlan 30 interface e 0/1 switch port access vlan 30 done so vlan brief you can see vlan 10 20 30 40 is there and vlan 30 we have one port which is 0/1 means pc3 is in vlan 30 on switch number 2 you can check 0/2 port means pc2 is in vlan 20 and on switch number 1 on switch number 1 so vlan brief pc1 is in vlan 10 now let me show you the trunk link so interface trunk see guys not pruned vlan vlan 1 10 20 30 40 50 all the vlans are not pruned means switch 1 is going to forward broadcast message of these all vlan vlan 10 20 30 40 50 50 all the vlan similarly on switch number 2 also you can check so interface trunk you can see on both the trunk link 0/0 and 0/1 all the vlans are not pruned not pruned means it will be forwarding broadcast message right from the all from all the VL, um, uh, for all the vlans all the vlans broadcast messages will be forwarded from both the trunk link similarly on switch number 3 also so interface trunk you can see all the vlans are not pruned right here is the allowed vlan information on the trunk link all the vlans are allowed then vlan allowed and active in the management means there is port user also in the vlan trunk link is there on all the switches and trunk link is a part of all the vlan and then then vlan in a spanning tree forwarding state and not pruned right means which vlans are 
in forwarding a state for how many VLAN I need to forward the traffic from this trunk link and those VLANs are not pruned all the VLANs VLAN 1 10 20 30 40 now I am going to enable VTP pruning here and after that I will again show you the output for now for now if switch one is going to receive any broadcast message for any VLAN it will be forwarding that from the trunk link now let me enable VTP pruning here say VTP and before that you can verify VTP status so VTP status and you can see VTP pruning is disabled trap generation and VTP pruning both are disabled let me enable it VTP pruning this is a command to enable VTP pruning now pruning switch switched on and do so VTP status now you can see pruning is enabled you don't need to enable pruning on all the switches individually it will propagate the information through VTP as well go to switch number two and check so VTP status you can see VTP pruning is here enabled and on switch number three also you can check that VTP pruning is so VTP status and pruning is enabled very good now let me take you to switch one and let's verify the trunk link again switch one so interface trunk now you can see VLAN in a spanning tree forwarding a state and not pruned VLAN 10 20 30 that's it now switch one will only forward traffic broadcast and multicast traffic or unknown unicast forwarding traffic for VLAN 1 20 and 30 from this trunk link not other VLAN traffic similarly switch to go to switch number two why 20 and 30 because here one user is in VLAN 20 on switch number two and one user in VLAN 30 on switch number three go to switch number two and check switch two so interface trunk and here you can see VLAN 1 and 10 is not pruned on switch port number 0 slash 0 means from this link it will only forward traffic of VLAN 1 and 10 broadcast and on 0 slash 1 VLAN 1 and 30 is not pruned from this link it will forward traffic of broadcast traffic of VLAN 1 and 30 then go to switch number 3 and check here so interface trunk see VLAN 1 and 20 VLAN 1 10 20 is not pruned hope it is clear now what is VTP pruning and uh, still if you have any question guys any doubt if anything is not clear to you just let me know in the comment section definitely I will make one more video on it but if you have learned something from this video then please hit on like button and share your feedback how was the class if you are going to share the feedback it will help me in future to make more better videos so guys don't forget to share your feedback whenever any video is helpful for you and if you think that any improvement is required then also you should share your feedback okay your feedback is very important if you don't want to write the lengthy sentence just type helpful helpful right I will take uh, take it in positive way that video was helpful for you and you guys are learning from these types of videos and it will motivate me to work hard will uh, motivate me to make more videos like this thank you so much for watching till the end we'll meet soon in the next video till then stay safe bye bye